Hey guys, welcome to KDE 6.3. We're going to go over the changes today because I haven't done a video in a while. I'm sorry about that. I've been busy with Serpent OS and learning all of that business. And uh, still am learning, by the way. So to start off with Plasma 6.3. So if you are into digital art, you might know that they have a drawing tablet section inside of settings and that would be right here now they've completely revamped this and uh it actually looks like this now so there's your main monitor i think and there's your tablet screen it's kind of interesting what they're doing and it doesn't really look good uh ux wise but at least they are getting better look it says pad display pen pad nice just figured i want to show you that first okay so the next one is graphics so the most important news regarding graphics is a huge overhaul to how fractional scaling works at plasma i don't i don't okay you know what i'm gonna test this why not uh so i'm gonna bring this down to can we just do 90 percent Okay, still readable, still readable. Let's go up to 150%. Oh yeah, definitely still readable. Not bad, but what if I decide to mess with my other display? Uh, let's say we bring it down to 80%. No? Ooh, 75% makes it 1440p technically. And everything's crystal clear. I know you can't see it. Give me a sec. You know what? No. No. I'll do it this way. So, uh, which side are we on? This side right here. This is where I usually keep my notes. As you can see, it's crystal clear. So, uh, that's what zoomed in content is going to look like. Which is kind of nice. There you go. Scaling is now improved. All right, so the next thing we need to look at, and to do this, we're actually gonna go all the way up to 150%, so you can see this, we're gonna keep it like this, uh, is color accuracy, so you can prefer efficiency or color accuracy. I went with color accuracy. Uh, this is in the color department, screen colors are more accurate when using the nightlight feature, both with and without ICC profiles, and K1 offers the option to choose color accuracy. Oh, although it can sometimes affect system performance. Uh, it's sm a smaller but nice detail is the widgets placed on the desktop are very slightly transparent to pop out. Okay, so what? We're now moving on. They're not very good at wording their announcements very well. They never really have been. So uh, let's add a widget. Let's see if we can find that weather widget they were using. It still looks really, really dated compared to most things. You can right click something on the desktop if you have a shortcut and you can show target. There's that. Uh, you can actually show panel configuration. You can manage desktops and panels with that. You can take this and you can move it multiple different places. That's pretty cool I like that. And supposedly you're supposed to be able to clone uh, these clone panel onto the next monitor. So look at that. Now we have a secondary monitor. We, we look at that. So if you ever wanted to just have this and this on multiple different panels, why well, you can easily go and do that, which is nice, I guess. I'm sorry this video is not well organized. It's just that 6.3 is more of a patch than anything major. I mean, here, look at this pixel perfect. Okay, see your clone panel, uh, K1 zoom. It looks like they're finally stepping up and improving the UX. And then there's just a whole bunch of other stuff for digital art and graphics. There's the digital zoom. As you can see, things are actually pretty pixel. KDE still doesn't look as clean as GNOME, but it's going to get there eventually, hopefully. Hopefully the rounded corners get better and a lot of other stuff. Uh, there's, there's whatever the hell this is. I mean, I don't know. We need rounded corners and there's the show target thing it's just not a big update i don't know why they bothered to give it the 6.3 moniker it should have been much bigger than this 
to even be able to move to something like 6.3, but yeah, I guess you can't have everything, can you? All right, so uh, this bug, where if I take you and you, and then I decide to take you and you, that still exists. That's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Figure I'd let you know. With that, so far it's been stable, it's been working very well, and I've been enjoying it lots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there's not much here. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.